strike, Nestle and Abbott slave wages and racial discrimination. Where's the mainstream media? I want to give all the honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rabacha Kodash, double honor to my elders at Great Millstone, taught me the truth through the Spirit, singing honor to the elect. Peace and blessings be to all the censored men, women, and children that do consist of the one third, and to the confusion of faces in the four corners of the earth. Shalom. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee, in hunger, and in thirst, and in nakedness, and in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck, until he have destroyed thee. And the picture that you see at the beginning of the video is literally uh, a yoke of iron around, around a slave's neck. Which goes to show you that this curse in the Bible will befall the nation of Israel, the so-called Negro Latinos and Native Americans. And so this very day, there's still a perpetual hatred towards us from Esau, who will call himself today the so-called white man, woman, and child, or Caucasians, right? Or European. And it's a spiritual aspect, much more than the physical aspect. But nonetheless, this situation is happening in Memphis, not making the mainstream at all. Right, and the reason why I want to bring this out because somebody in the comment section of this video, which I will leave the link in the description box, said this, and I'm and I will leave the um, the screenshot of this comment. It says, "It's crazy how I've heard about this year. It's the entertainment business strikes and auto worker strikes, but when it comes to something meaningful like the food industry, like literally no coverage on worker conditions, is crazy." I feel like all unions need to raise each other and spread awareness more together, stronger. And um, this is happening in Memphis, Tennessee. And you got to remember when the, when the union and all that was truly created, we was never a part of that. It was really more for them. Right. But um, I don't want to talk too much. I'm going to get right into it, though. If we, when you listen to the um the video, Pretty much they're saying that they make soy protein um, for, for companies, for like the biggest manufacturers in the world. And like now they've been bought out by a new buyer over a $26 billion buyout. And now they want to reduce their wages. They want to take away their lunch breaks. It's like, <laughs> you know, um, there was another comment where it says $167 a week for health insurance for a family. Then it goes up to about $600-something every four, every four weeks. Then they go down and say, no, that's not what it was before. This is what it is now, pretty much, which if you listen to the video. And they say, oh, damn, they wanted to go to $300 a week. So their premiums are so high, and if you go to like certain countries, like over in Europe and, and things of that nature, I think it's the UK as well. It's free. Health insurance is free. Right? But these are the curses that we... God bless America, right? This place is going down. This place is through. They don't care anymore. But our people have always been at the bottom. You know? Nonetheless, let me get into it, though. All right? They don't want us to get the crumbs that fall on the ground. Nothing. They want to... Matter of fact, they want to take it all away from you. And that's the part that I can't understand. I think these guys are getting in the back room, smoke filled room, and they're saying, hey, let's do this. Let's try to kill and let's try to change the market so that we don't have to worry about unions anymore. Since June, unionized food manufacturing workers in Memphis have been on strike against management, against the conglomerate that owns their factory, and against an economy that's still tilted against workers. The factory makes soy protein isolate. Its clients are some of the biggest food manufacturers in the world, including Nestle, Abbott, and virtually anyone that makes a protein bar. The factory has been in operation for decades, providing good middle-class jobs until now. It's not just about the contract at this point. It's about being able to assemble and unionize and fight for your working conditions in general. The strike was forced upon us. Nobody wanted to, to strike. We didn't want to come out here. Me being second generation, my father retired from here. I would like to be able to preserve this job for the next generation. <laughs> Haggai 1 and 6, ye have sown much and bring in little. Ye eat, but ye have not enough. Ye drink, but ye are not filled with drink. Ye clothe ye, 
ye clothe you, forgive me, but there is none warm. And he that earneth wages, earneth wages to put it into a bag with holes. Prime example would be federal minimum wage. They have a base that this is the lowest you can possibly pay someone. Right? And this the, this man said that his father retired from there. He want to quote unquote keep the tradition or whatever the you know case may be, right? But it just goes to show you that the times that we're living in, Jay, they're gonna truly show you who you are, show you show you who they are towards you. They always been showing. It's just been subliminal. It's just been under the wraps. Like you get all this mainstream media about freaking actors striking inter fucking tainment. Excuse my language, but this you know. I love my people, though. I hate their ways, you know. But and then automakers, you have, a, you have to have a new version of a new car every freaking year, right? I'm just saying in general. So it's all about profit. It's all about pro profit and wanting to make money. How much, can, how much juice can we squeeze out of the poor before they're no more? Yeah? Now these, pe this, these people say they were forced to go on a strike. There's no one talking about it. Um, gladly, you know, there was, um, at the end of the video, like I say in the link, there was an individual who actually took on this task and uploaded this video. Cause this is stuff that you don't see on the mainstream media, man. They don't care. And you, and you know what? You're going to find out why they don't care. When we started negotiation, we brought forth about 19 proposals and only a few of them affected people monetarily. And we agreed on absolutely nothing. We have a sister plant that's in Gibson City. Right before we went through negotiations, those, those guys end up, the maintenance department end up with a 9% pay increase, and the production department end up with a 6% pay increase. They didn't ask for, to eliminate anything, but since, I'm 90, since it's 90% of African-American in a predominantly African-American town. Now you can see why I'm making this video. So their sister company is like, it's in Gibson, Illinois, while they're based in Memphis, Tennessee. They over there giving white folks <laughs> a pay increase without taking nothing away. Jake just asking if they can just at least get back to normal. And you're trying to strip them from everything. For one, you want to give them less wages. You want to take away their lunches. And their breaks and two, the premium for healthcare is just ludicrous. Not talking about the rapper. So rock 13 and 18 through 19. What agreement is there between the hyena and a dog? And what peace between the rich and the poor? As the wild ass is in the lion's prey in the wilderness, so the rich eat up the poor. And the poor will be who? The Lord's people. The Lord's people. Psalms 14, verse 4 through 7. Have all the workers of iniquity no knowledge who eat up my people as they eat bread and call not upon the Lord. There were they in great fear for God is in the generation of the righteous. See, the Lord is with us. Our people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. They just really don't know. They blinded. They don't know what's going on. They still think that they're going to just have another generation of working for Nestle and retiring like your father. No, this is not your rest. Right? Psalms 14 and 6. Ye have shamed the counsel of the poor because the Lord is, is his refuge. Remember in Ecclesiastes it says the poor man's um, wisdom is heard in silence uh, or less than the the hackling or the crackling of a fool, right? But the Lord is our refuge, right? Oh, that the salvation of Israel will come out of Zion when the Lord bringeth back the captivity of his people. Not 1948, not the Baffle Declaration, not the state of you know what. <clears throat> Jacob shall rejoice and Israel shall be glad. Well, as of right now, ain't, no, ain't nobody too, much, too happy over there. That's freaking warfare. So I'm still waiting on what prophecy had they fulfilled moving moving the people laying over there. But that's another story. We're still here. We, the, the curses are still relevant. We're still in captivity. There's still no peace in the earth. And there'll never be peace for us here. And the Lord will continually to remind us. You know? 
Uh, Revelation 2 and 9. I know thy works in tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. What is rich? The scripture says, it says, if you seek scepters and thrones and crowns, seek wisdom first. Because by wisdom, all things were created. All things, even the earth that we walk upon, could the Lord utter his voice and then manifestation happen. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews. I'm reading the Bible, so don't strike me. And are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. That's in the same book. All right. That the, that the president gets inaugurated on. So you can't say I'm anti-Semitic, which Shem is the name, not Semitic. But I, whatever. Anyway, I can't be anti myself because I'm Shemitic. Anyhow, so let's get back to the video. Sickening, man. Sickening. For years, the factory was owned by DuPont Chemical, which agreed to contracts with good benefits and working conditions. But it was sold in 2020 to a conglomerate called International Flavors and Fragrances, and that's when things began to get dire. IFF made more than $4 billion in gross profit in 2022, but now it wants to take away overtime and wreck worker health care plans. They even want to take away paid lunch breaks. The company doesn't want to give us what we deserve. They don't want to give us the anything after eight. They don't want to give us better benefits. They don't want to give us, you know, the ability to take breaks freely uh, with no consequence. They don't want to give us incentives. And so we're fighting for those unions that want to continue to fight for their betterment. The sanitation strike happened here in Memphis. If you can't stand for something that you truly believe in and your history, history have a way to go over again. I would think that it, get, it would get better, but it hasn't. Instead of it getting better, it's going downhill. We're going back to slavery time. Anytime you take all your stuff away, you have no rights, no say-so, no nothing. Well, right now, we have a year notice on our health benefits. Well, all of our benefits, actually. Uh, so they want to change that to 30 days. What that would mean for us is that all they have to do is give us a 30-day notice. They can take whatever they want away. Our premiums have gone up. Our premiums have doubled and tripled. Before we switched over to universal health care, we had Aetna. And Aetna was actually pretty good. Each week with Aetna, I was paying $167 a week. Um, and this is for a family of four. So for me, my husband, and my two children. Now I'm paying almost $300. That is a, a significant chunk out of my paycheck. I would at least get $700 a week, but now that this dwindled down to almost $500, $400, $500. I think y'all heard enough, but just imagine, you know, this is this is happening all over, you know. We don't hear the crackling of the whip on our backsides anymore. Now we hear the shocking of the pen on the paper. Notice how he said they had a year for a notice. Now they're saying they want to change it to 30 days. You go from 12-month notice to a one-month notice? It's in the power of their hand, Micah 2 and 1, right? But nonetheless, close out precept. This is why we look for a new heaven and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. This is why we out doing the highways and byways by the foolishness of preaching. They sold those to, to save those that do believe. Because y'all trust in Egypt. Anyhow, Isaiah 54 and 7 through 8. For a small moment have I forsaken thee, but with great mercies will I gather thee. In hmm. a little wrath, I hid my face from thee for a moment, but with everlasting kindness will I have mercy on thee, saith Yahweh, thy Redeemer. With that being said, pay you as F, I am fed, stay in the spirit, no fear, just endure it, ask for forgiveness, pray without ceasing, stay humble, remain diligent, go on my Allah, more flubber ball, shalom.